Let's try to get back to some concrete factual news. What's the next story up? Anything good? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is good right here. All right. Just happened today, about an hour before we went live. Buccaneers are going to franchise tag wide receiver Chris Godwin. And honestly, this is probably probably the best decision for the Bucs. Chris Godwin was kind of the unsung hero of this Bucks kind of run here. He was probably the most consistent wide receiver. And I know it's kind of crazy to say when they've got Antonio Brown and Mike Evans and even Gronk, uh, you know, at the tight end position. But he was honestly the best piece, the most consistent catching piece of this Bucs team it will break it down we've got the kind of proof to back it up here I mean just what my eyes were telling me throughout the entire season um you know going deep to Chris Godwin he was always kind of good not you know in the touchdown in the red zone but that's what they were using Gronk and Mike Evans for but between you know the 20s you know that's when they really use Chris Godwin and that's really where their production came from just on kind of you know from 20 to 20 before they get into the red zone before they're close to scoring just from where they get the ball from usually about the 20 to 25 yard line to the other opponent's kind of 20 to 25 yard lines. That's when they really utilize Chris Godwin. So here we go. Let's kind of get down into these stats a little bit more. So let's just talk about this season alone. We will talk about 2019 in a second. But in 2020, this season alone, he only played 12 games, first of all. All right. So four less games played than, you know, kind of, you know, Mike Evans. I know Antonio Browns has less than 12, uh, 12 games played, but we'll talk about that. So, in only 12 games, he had 840 yards. Fantastic. Once again, only seven touchdowns, so very good. Still solid. Uh, but we, like we were saying, they didn't really use him to score. That's when Gronk and Mike Evans came in. Uh, but just in regular field of play, Chris Godwin here. So, 840 yards in 12 games. Um, and I want to kind of point out the catching percentage of how well he and consistent he was catching the ball. So he had 85 or 84 targets in 65 receptions, which translates to a 77% catch probability, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's compare that stat first to the other wide receivers here. Mike Evans. Now he does have more targets, 109 targets and 70 receptions, but that's only a 64% catch uh, percentage right there. So Chris Godwin, more of a secure catcher yes you do go do Mike Evans a little bit more but still the percentage is better um, all right, let's go to their longest play. Mike Evans, his longest pass play of the season was 50. And Chris Godwin is right up there with 47 yards. So there wasn't too much disparity right there between the deep ball with these two great receivers. Uh, what was the other one? We have to look at yards per target. Um, Chris Godwin's at 10 yards for every target. Where uh, Mike Evans, he's only at... Um, Nine, nine yards of target. So going a little bit deeper, we know they use Mike Evans a little bit more in the red zone, shorter field. So, you know, the target's only like five yards because they're using him on, you know, the 10 or five yard line there. Uh, so, you know, his yards per targets is down a little bit. That's why, we, you know, my, uh, Chris Godwin, we think, is a little bit of a more major piece here uh, for the Bucs. So franchising him is absolutely the right decision. And now let's go to Antonio Brown and kind of Rob Gronkowski to see where they kind of line up with Chris Godwin. Let's go here with the catch percentage. Now Antonio Brown, 62 targets with 45 receptions, and he only started four games. He played eight games, but only started four of those. And his catch percentage was still 72%. So, once again, Chris Godwin, the best catch percentage on the team. Um, the yards per target for Antonio Brown were only 7.8. So, really not targeting him really too much down the field. So, we get nice intermediate routes by Antonio Brown. We get Mike Evans in the red zone. And we got Chris Godwin throughout basically the 20s through the 20s here. And now let's compare it to Rob Gronkowski. We know uh, Brady loved throwing to this man. Played all 16 games. Had 77 targets. More or a little bit less targets than uh, Chris Godwin with the 84. But still very, very close with 45 receptions. And that's only a 58% catch percentage. So really not that great there. <clears throat> And the uh, yards per target are eight with Rob Gronkowski. So we are clearly seeing that Tom Brady is going a little bit deeper with Chris Godwin. Uh, Chris Godwin's a better kind of catcher than these other wide receivers. More of a secure catcher, 77%. And it's kind of the, the, is it the best in his career? It is the best in his career. So going a little bit further down this field on these throws, he's catching these deeper balls more consistently. 840 yards in only 12 games where Mike Evans is at 1,000 yards in 16 games. So once again, utilizing Chris Godwin a lot more and a lot deeper than uh, Mike Evans. And he did that on so many more or so many less receptions. I mean, um, 
Mike Evans had 109 targets while, you know, Chris Godwin only had 84. So um, truly great here that the Bucks franchise tag Chris Godwin. I mean, Chris Godwin can be the number one wide receiver. We see, we saw what he did in 2019 with um, um, Jameis Winston. He had 1,300 yards, nine touchdowns, 121 targets, you know, 71% still catch percentage there with 121 targets and 1,300 yards and, you know, averaging 11 yards per target with Jameis Winston. So we know this man can be the number one wide receiver. We see him with the deep ball with Tom Brady. We see him more consistent in kind of the midfield-ish area, but they just go to other players to score the ball. But you need these other great wide receivers to get you into the field of play to score the balls to kind of complete off the drive so I truly believe this is the best option for not only Chris Godwin but for the Bucks to franchise tag him lock him up for another year because he is kind of your main wide receiver target yes you don't score with him a lot but he still gets you in the position to score the ball he's a consistent catcher and Tom Brady you know not the most accurate this season we saw him throw a lot of picks down the stretch in this uh, this year but Chris Godwin always comes through in the clutch goes down field catches the ball in traffic in secure hands down there so I think this is fantastic that the Bucks have them and uh, the, because I truly believe this is kind of the Chris Godwin is the unsung hero here for the Bucks offense and uh, I, do I dare say the best wide receiver on the Bucks I'll, I'll put my foot down I'll say it the best wide receiver on the Bucks it's Chris Godwin and they just franchise tagged him